As a coach, we're looking at it as a positive playing on the road. You know, we don't mind that at all. We pretty much already played on most of the fields we're going to play on, so it's not going to make that much of a difference. Fast forward two months and it hasn't bothered the Red Hawks at all. They're 7-1 and one in the first school to beat all other Naperville area teams in a single season. First taking out Wabonzi in week one, then getting a come from behind victory over Nequa in week two, before completing the sweep in week six against Naperville North. Tonight they will step out on their brand new field, homecoming and senior night all in one. It's going to be really, really exciting. You know, Being away, we haven't had all the fans that we need. Now that we're home, everyone's going to be here, and it's just going to be crowded and loud and awesome. The Red Hawk Rowdies are on the same page and like what they see. I like the end zones. That's just me. I like the end zones. You know, I'm a, I'm a midfield kind of guy. I like the big <laughs> logo up there. The coolest part, the end zones, because they, they have the writing in it. A lot of the older turf fields don't have it. Topping off the evening, the 1999 state champion football team is back at Memorial Stadium. Tell you what, it feels great. Got a chance to talk to the team a little bit last night. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit about Red Hawk pride. We can't believe it was 10 years ago that we, we went to state. What do they think of the new field? I know I heard some of the other guys saying that we wish we, wish we got to play on it, but uh, luckily the biggest thing our senior, we had great weather, nothing like this, but uh, this field's awesome and it's definitely a great investment for the school. The Red Hawks are perhaps drawing on the past for inspiration as they head towards the playoffs. The field marks the beginning of a new chapter for Naperville Central football. You've heard it from the fans, past and current players. All that's left is the kickoff. Reporting from Naperville Central, Ben Hutchison, Naperville Sports Weekly.